Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Antwerp. Thank you for coming and joining the second Fashion Talks by FFI. Before kicking off the actual conference, um, I need to introduce you to the man who's going to officially open it. He is, very complicated title, the Vice Mayor for Culture, Economy, City Maintenance, and Property Management. Please welcome Mr. Philip Halen. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Let me first of all say how happy we are to have all of you here in the city of Antwerp. I'm pretty sure, let's not fool ourselves, that in the last weeks, it was not always that easy, perhaps, to take a decision to travel. But I think the most important thing is that all of us did, and that today, more than 20 nationalities are here representing the fashion scene. So once again, on my behalf, welcome, and I, will, I hope that you will enjoy the quality of life and the hospitality of our city. Ladies and gentlemen, Antwerp is a very creative city. It is, as we call it, an ambitious city as well. A city where we don't take things for granted. Not anymore, that means. We took, in my opinion, the Antwerp 6 too long for granted. We claimed them as if they were our offspring. And of course, you all know, it doesn't exist. And that's the thing with creativity. In my opinion, it is just out there. The creative ideas, many creative ideas, are born here in Antwerp. And it is, of course, no coincidence has it to do with the endless ebb and flow of our river? It has given Antwerp, in my opinion, somehow its eternal restlessness. The echo of the sea gets our locals dreaming of other, of better things. We are a small city, and therefore we have to think big. Tom Barman. Tom Barman, creator of Antwerp's most famous rock band, Deus, will address the conference later. And I think he's a very good example of what it means, that restlessness. A documentary about his life was called, and I quote, a tempo of a restless soul. In times, in those times of globalization, these restless souls, these creative entrepreneurs, as I would like to refer to them, are the future, in my opinion, of our cities. It is therefore our job not only to be proud of the fact that creative ideas are born here, but also to support them in any way possible. And that is why we support the Fashion Talks. And this second edition of this event has again sold out. It reaffirms the need, the necessity, the importance of bringing together the Belgian and the international fashion professionals here in our city today. And Antwerp is, but you know we're not that chauvinistic, Antwerp is rightfully considered as one of Europe's fashion hubs, of course, and probably thanks to the excellent reputation of the Fashion Department, our Royal Academy, recently named the third best school in the world for fashion, the Antwerp Fashion Museum, and of course many international designers and many flagship stores that have been opening their shops in recent years here in the city. And by hosting this event, the Flanders Fashion Institute wants to stress the unique character of our fashion landscape and strengthen the business by sharing insight and knowledge. I don't need to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that fashion is indeed a unique business with its own dynamics and logic. And that's exactly why this fashion conference fits Antwerp perfectly, because this city has always worn this unique, how should I say, deux pièces of craftsmanship and creativity, of arts and economy. 
And today, the expositions of the Fashion Museum, our Mode Museum, and events such as the yearly graduation of the Fashion Academy, together with many other international fashion events, acclaim that role. But there's another reason why this fashion conference fits Antwerp. Because the fashion business and the city of Antwerp are perhaps both what we call atypical. Fashion is a business, but it is also, and I strongly believe in that, a way of expression, characterized by imagination and, of course, beauty and aesthetics. And Antwerp is not the capital. We are not the capital, but we are a pocket-sized metropolis, an international city, which, as I mentioned before, an affordable quality of life with more than 170 nationalities living together. And we have been international for centuries. And our policy is to strengthen this unique role of Antwerp as a hub, as a hub for creativity and entrepreneurship. And there's one person, a close friend, that once put it in a very nice quotation. It's Diane von Furstenberg, who says, and I think she's right, be wild at heart, but be yourself and not an imitation. And that's exactly the spirit that we try to have here in Antwerp. And how will we do it is the question. Well, by hosting sessions like here today about exploring the possibilities for investors in fashion. Hopefully, this can aid young entrepreneurs to grow faster and more successfully and learn from others. Or by consulting experts like Charles Landry, who is with us today, and he will address the conference later. He's one of the speakers. And I asked him to measure the creative pulse of our city and to give us further recommendations to the future. And because we are a city of ambition and we have to keep an eye for the future, there's one extra thing which I think is going to be tremendous important for the whole business of fashion, and it is, of course, sustainability. It is high on the agenda, and it is high on the agenda of this conference as well. We will be hosting a private session where local and international experts will be investigating how we can transform Antwerp into a sustainable fashion center. And then, of course, in general, a city needs to be open for fashion business. And we'll keep on guiding fashion entrepreneurs individually in order to find the right locations in our city and to find and to connect them with the right networks. But the biggest task that awaits us is to make sure that Antwerp stays the attractive environment for creative talent, making sure that Antwerp stays the interesting, international, intercultural, tolerant, open city that it has always been and that it always has to be. Dear friends, last but not least, we'll also strengthen Antwerp's appeal as a harbor of creativity. And therefore, I'm very proud to announce you today that we are looking at the start of a campaign which will unfold in the next 10 months. It is going to be a campaign about creativity, where we link Antwerp as a harbor of creativity with the title, you guessed it, Born in Antwerp. We're working together with all kinds of curators. And when it comes to fashion, I'm very proud that Bruno Peters is our curator for fashion, and he will, he's responsible for a big show that we will um, present next year. And during those 10 months of Born in Antwerp, we want to focus on what it means doing creative business here in Antwerp. Ladies and gentlemen, a man that left from this city on a boat as an immigrant became very famous, like many others. And he once said, from going from A to B is logic. And it will bring you there, if you are thinking in a logic way. But if you think with enough creativity, then the road brings you everywhere. It's exactly that what I wish all of you, and by the way, 
His name was Albert Einstein. Thank you very much and have a great conference.